it's Shannon. Welcome back. So today I have the long awaited like giant completed diamond painting video for you. I was going to say haul, but it's not really a haul because I already have them and I finished them. So today we're going to go over some of my most recently completed diamond paintings. Now these have been completed over the past several months since I last had a video go up. So these weren't all done at once. It does take a long time to do these projects, but it's a ton of fun. So I'm gonna share these with you. Um, please keep in mind, I do have two cats and a lot of the diamond paintings have sticky stuff around the outside. So you might see cat fur because you know, life with cats. And if you guys know from our other channels, you know that Simon, our Siamese cat, likes to be in the middle of everything. And he likes to lay on diamond paintings and stick his fur to them. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Okay. Here's the stack. We have a ton to get through, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. The very first one I have right here is a Baby Moana diamond painting. This is a full square, meaning the entire canvas has diamonds on it, and the little diamonds are square shape. This is a 20 by 20. And most of the diamond paintings I have right here, I did get from AliExpress. I will not be linking to stores because they tend to change their inventory really quickly, but you can find like, if you type in diamond painting on AliExpress, you're going to have a million results come up. So just be prepared. I warned you. <laughs> okay, so Baby Moana, she was a lot of fun to do. And I think it came out really, really well. Like I think she looks so cute. And then there's of course, lots of sparkle. Next up, I have this kitty. He's taking a bath. <laughs> this is another full square. Um, this one is a 30 by 30. So there is our little kitty friend. He's at the bathtub. He has a little rubber ducky toy and it looks like he has a snorkel or something over here. He's getting ready. I think he just is getting ready to jump in the bath because he doesn't look super wet. But he has his towel, he's ready to go. This one was a lot of fun to do. Um, I think the little kitty turned out really, really cute. And we did have a cat that liked baths at one point. So there you go, little kitty. Next up, I have this butterfly skull. This one, it does not say. I'm guessing it's about a 20 by 20. This is a full round. So the entire thing has diamonds. But if you look, you can see their little round diamonds. And I feel like the round diamond paintings have a much better sparkle than the square. I personally like doing the square ones, but then I kind of like to do the round ones to get a break. <laughs> this one was a lot of fun to do as well. Um, I did this one quite a bit actually before Halloween. Um, but I just, I don't know, I really liked it. I liked the skull and then the butterflies, like new, whatever, I don't know. Don't, don't listen to me, I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, so there is the skull. Next up, I have this really pretty rainbow tree. So this one is a 30 by 40. This is a full round. There's the full thing. Um, I thought this was so cool that the tree is all in black silhouette and then all the just like rainbow colors behind it. It's so pretty. The colors in it are just gorgeous. So there you can kind of see some of them closer up. And a lot of you ask what I do with all my diamond paintings. So just to let everybody know, I actually don't keep. I don't think I've kept any of them. I donate them. And then, you know, other people can buy them and frame them and do what they want. But I just enjoy doing them and I buy way too many to keep. So once I finish, like I said, I just donate them. Next up, I have this really small one. This is a 15 by 20. This is a Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse and kind of like an artsy splatter paint kind of look. These are fun to do. These are a lot faster because they're small. This is a full square and it's still really sticky. I know a lot of you have said to put washi tape around the edges and I think that was a really good idea, especially with cats. Okay, next up I have this one. This is a 20 by 30. This is a full square as well. And isn't this one gorgeous? I just think this one is so pretty. Again, it was a lot of fun to work on. She just turned out so cute. And look at the sparkle on this one. I mean, this one's like super sparkly. 
There you go. Next up, Halloween. <laughs> this one is a 25 by 20. And I mean, it's just too cute. It's a full square, so we have the little ghost, the pumpkin, and I think of him as like a Siamese cat. And then it says Halloween. Again, this one does have a lot of sparkle too, so some of the square ones do still sparkle a ton. Oh, I love that one. Okay, here's another Halloween one, so you can tell when I was working on these. This is a 25 by 20 as well. And here we have just like the silhouette of a witch walking her dog. And there's that cool tree in the background, um, full square. There it is. And if you guys want, let me know down in the comments. I can show you how I keep track of all the diamond paintings I've purchased, own, completed, still waiting to receive in the mail. Um, I have a really simple system and it's a fun system too. So if you guys are interested, let me know and I can show that. Okay, now I have a huge one. This is a 47 by 47. It's a partial. So only the like rhinestones that you see are painted. The rest is actually printed on the canvas. So look at the sparkle on this guy. So this is done with all these like special rhinestones. You can see the different shapes there and they're all super sparkly and awesome. So that's my giant Santa. This was a ton of fun to do you guys. I love the rhinestones. Next up I have another rhinestone one. This is a unicorn. It's a 30 by 30 and again it is a partial. But look at the rhinestones. So gorgeous, so much fun to work on. Totally would recommend these. Just a couple left. I have a My Little Pony, <coughs> sorry guys, I think, oh I forget what it's called. Um, I forget, but this is like a little Halloween one. This is a 20 by 25, she has a little pumpkin. This is a full square. And again, it was a ton of fun to do. Then I have Doraemon. <laughs> this is a really tiny one. This one does not have a size. This is like one of the special ones as well. It has all these blue, the blue, red, black, and gold are all rhinestones. The white is kind of um, normal, but they're all different size beads. It was so much fun to do. I can't wait to get more of these. And look at how pretty it is. I could do that all day under the lights. Look at the sparkle. You're getting mesmerized. You want to hit subscribe. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least is this giant wolf. This is a 40 by 50. Again, it's a rhinestone with the special shaped beads. It has some of these really big beads and then of course everything else is crystals. Um, loved doing this one as well. I love all the colors in this one. It's so pretty and just a ton of fun. Okay, so those are my completed diamond paintings. Now I have to get on it and um, start doing a bunch more so I could show you another video. So if you guys like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have completed diamond painting videos on your channel because I love watching those in particular. Um, if you have any questions, let me know as well. Don't forget to join me over on Paul and Shannon's Life on Instagram. Would love to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.